First of all, what is a moonshot? Of course, the first classic moonshot was the 1960s. It was JFK saying, we're going to the moon, even though he had no idea how we're going to get there. By the end of the decade, an incredibly ridiculous time limitation, and then pulls it off. Well, my friends at Google created a division of Google with Sebastian Thrun, who started it, and then a gentleman named Astro Teller took it over. I'll talk about Astro in a second. And it was called Google X, and now it's just called X under the alphabet umbrella. And it's their, you know, call it their skunk works, but it's their moonshot factory. And in their moonshot factory, Astro talks about what a moonshot is. He says, you know, most entrepreneurs, most companies, most startups are trying to go 10% bigger in a year. You know, you can work Friday night and Saturday night, you can work a little harder, you can buy a new piece of equipment, you can eke out 10% price performance increase, 10% higher stock price. But a moonshot isn't 10%, a moonshot is 10 times. And so Astro asks the question, how can you go 10 times bigger in your field versus 10%? Now, when you go 10 times bigger, you can't get there by just working harder. You literally have to start with a clean sheet of paper and try a crazy idea. Remember that the day before something is truly a breakthrough, it's a crazy idea. And a lot of moonshots are crazy ideas with science fiction sounding solutions. So why do moonshots matter? You know, uh, Uber and Google and Facebook and Tesla and all these organizations are all taking moonshots. Well, first of all, when you're trying to do something radically hard, you approach a problem differently than if you try to make something incrementally better. If you're trying to build a completely reusable rocket that can go to orbit and come back and land and refuel and go again, you've got to start with a brand new design, a brand new clean sheet of paper, and that's what SpaceX did. So, Going after a moonshot forces you to think in a completely different format. The second benefit for moonshots is when you're shooting for a tenfold improvement, right, a, a thousand percent better, you approach a problem in a radically different fashion. If I said to you, listen, I want you to do ten times better in terms of your product performance in the next six months, you're like, no possible way. And what it forces you to do is to throw out all the old ways of doing things because you couldn't do it that way and start to brainstorm with brand new clean sheet of paper, okay, what is possible within the laws of physics? The third benefit for a moonshot is when you attack a problem as though it were solvable. Even if you don't know how to solve it, you'll be shocked at what you come up with. Just giving yourself permission to say, okay, I have no idea, how would I do it? And starting writing down crazy ideas. You say, you know, this idea isn't too crazy. And if I could do this, and I just read about that technology makes that possible, all of a sudden, it unshackles you, right? We only know how to think the way we know how to think. Going after a moonshot for yourself and for your team unshackles the way you do it. Finally, 10 times versus 10% is 100 times greater value. It's never 100 times harder. You and I can take moonshots. Time to give up the incremental stuff, baby. Time to go for the moon.